Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Tuesday, the 8th of March. It's 43 degrees and off and on raining today. I think it's doing exactly what it was supposed to do. Hmm. Kylie's not out here this morning. She must be back, on, back off another part of the field. But at the moment, it's not raining. So I won't complain about that. Man. Just that thought of spring coming this past weekend and then yesterday it was so nice. Man, just puts a smile on your soul. Anyway, let's start off the day. Man, oh man, what a difference a day makes. It was so beautiful out here yesterday morning. Look at them all herded up there. Look, they all got coats on it, almost like a herd of elk sitting out there. <laughs> well, mama. That was a wet drive-in. It was wet. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh, no. It'll be a yucky day. Yep. Oh, well. Those days happen. It's yep. that time of year. Yep. All right, Mama. Well, you have yourself a wonderful Tuesday. You too. And uh, see you as the day goes on. Sounds good. All right. All well, right. let me see you. Bye. I love you. Bye-bye <laughs> now. Bye. So to see the sky is all done. Fresh oil and filters. She's ready for her, for her long trip. Got a fresh meat on the back. And today, oh, look at the 300 Rebel. And things are cool. You guys remember the spoke recall thing from five years ago? This uh, this guy never brought his in. The rear wheel's like coming apart. It was definitely one that needed to be inspected, repaired, or replaced. I hope BMW still honors it because that thing is expensive. But at the moment, what I have here is a 2012 RTS. And uh, he's getting a, a new drive belt. So I'm looking out here and I'm going, well, I'll take a look here. And I, <laughs> I'm looking down expecting to see big rock bumps or something in there. Yeah, the teeth are coming apart on it. I'll show you guys once I get the covers, the appropriate pieces out of the way here. Yeah. I've seen that before on these older ones. I don't know if they, if stuff got on them. I have no idea. It was weird, just random. Always wondered if it wasn't something people were spraying on it and it was uh, rotting the rubber. Kind of weird, just knocks the teeth off and it's just random. That's long since been gone. They haven't used, in fact, 2012 is the last year they used that belt. It's a new heavy duty one now. Teens might have had that belt, but I know for sure none of the 1330s use it. And things, I measured that one out, you remember? It was like 13 and a half feet long. Holy moly. <laughs> and you wonder why them things chatter to the transmission when you foul a plug in one of these twins. They go, ka -ka 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 -ka. it's funny when people foul the plugs in them, they, uh, they always come in and say, the uh, transmission's coming apart. No, well, you've been short running it. You fouled the spark plugs. What <laughs> happened? Oh, so I, you know, always look at the codes and see if there's any active faults or nothing was active. But a little over a hundred hours ago, it had a P1614 code, and he's been riding it for I don't know how many miles that was, but over a hundred hours later, it hasn't come back. That's the one that the throttle bodies are bad. That gets caused by short running as well. So, uh, you know, if you guys going to let these things sit, at least take it for that 10 mile or better. Get her good and hot. Take her for a good ride and put it away and let it sit. Don't go out there and fire it up. The short run. You know what I'm talking about. But, uh, yeah, I showed it, triggered it once and uh, went inactive and hasn't come back in over 100 hours. So I think that's one of those whew, moments for this thing. Anyway, let's get about. See the chunks missing out of it? And be really, really careful with these because they have carbon fiber in them. And uh, it won't be just the belt that gets eaten up. This one actually looks like something may have gotten in there because that's a very distinct line that ran through. Something must have got caught up, got flipped up in the in the area and got her. 
because the sprocket looks nice and clean. The rear sprocket looks good. So uh, that must have been a piece of debris. Had nothing to do with with anything the customer done. Listen to the cool sound the carbon or the uh, Kevlar makes. Sounds plastic, doesn't it? Wow, that thing's really chewed up. Holy moly. Yeah, see these right here are the ones that'll get you. Never slide your hand around on the belt when you're checking it out. Because when that Kevlar goes in, um, it doesn't come out very easy. I mean, in you. Yeah, it's brutal. Don't ask me how I know. All right, let's get a new one put on here right quick. So this is that GSA <laughs> with the old bulletin that, uh, yeah, he's got some crazy loose. I mean, there's a whole handful of them. It can only have a maximum of seven loose spokes. One of the things I've seen people, because people just don't know, but they try, because the nipples are on, are on the hub, not in the wheel. They go, you know, through the wheel, and then the nipples are in the hub. What people don't realize, I don't know if I can get this to show up, but inside each nipple, if you look down in there, there's a little Allen screw. That is a lock screw. Before you grab this thing with a torque wrench and try to adjust them, you need to loosen that little tiny uh, lock screw in there. So it's really tricky to adjust BMW wheels. Anyway, there is a crazy procedure which I have to go through because the front wheel on this one passes. So passing meaning I can do what's called a rework. And you go through this very specific thing where you go one direction on inside and then another direction on the outside. And it's this whole, whole spiel. And you get this um, lube that you got to spray down in there so that your torque is correct. You torque them to a certain amount, and you go back through, torque them another way, and you just do this back and forth between one side of the wheel and the other. A tremendous amount of spokes, and it takes quite a while to do it. But yeah, don't don't ever just grab those spokes and turn them with something. Let's see if I can show you this thing. I don't remember what size that thing was. Let's just stare at a wall there for a second. It's either a two or a two point five. It's a tiny little feller. Okay, so it must be a 2.5. No, maybe it is the two. That just felt loose. Let me grab another one here. Yeah, there we are. So it's a two millimeter Allen inside the spoke. And what that's doing, that's threading inside that nipple. You can't really get a, a good look at the nipple, but there you are. That's a good enough view. What's weird is on the outside, it's just smooth. You use the nipples because you turn it from the inside. But anyway, you loosen that, that lock nut, then you make the adjustment on your spoke. Man, I've seen some people mess these things up. Or worse yet, I get them messed up. Because you get, you know... Part of those services go through and ding it along, which I can show you that too. The sound you're supposed to have of a BMW and a bullet, and they got a clink, a clunk, and a plunk, or something like that. But but listen to these. Yeah, dead, dead. All I, I can have a maximum of seven on that entire wheel. So it gets a whole new wheel at that point. This was with that bulletin. That's five years old. So I'm in the process of doing a T-Sara case. The, the manager doesn't want to just willy nilly cause it's, it's so old. The bulletin is, um, just order a wheel. <laughs> Got an acro exhaust on there, that's nice. I guess we don't need a light there. Got 
some nice add-ons to the to the BMW guards because the GSAs come with the full frame. Some Touratech add-ons. That's nice. I like these uh, highway pegs on here. I never use them, but it's kind of cool that they tuck in out of the way. I don't ever like my feet out there where I'm not in control of something. But old GSAs. I hadn't even decided what I'm going to do for a BMW demo yet. It's just kind of the season just... I mean, we're selling bikes and stuff, but it just... I don't know. It's just not riding season yet. I don't know. don't even know when we're getting the spiders yet, so... <laughs> it's a lot of decisions to be made this year still. It'll all work out. It's America. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that white balance was weird earlier, wasn't it? Must not have locked it down. I never came back with the belt. Um, this morning, I don't know, it was about 11 o'clock. I go up and get a, I go to get a cup of coffee, and there's a gentleman sitting in the writer's lounge. And um, he's sitting there with a raincoat, and I go, yeah, playing around in this weather. I don't, I don't think he heard me when I, oh, that one doesn't stay up anymore. Good old aftermarket stuff. But uh, anyway, he, he doesn't really hear me. And I get my cup of coffee and say, you know, have an awesome day. So anyway, after I talk to you guys, I notice, I don't know if you noticed when I had the saddlebag open, there was a yellow set of rain pants. I think they were Touratex, Touratech or Olympia. They were, you know, motorcycle rain gear. And uh, anyway, it dawns on me. So I, I panicked because I had to finish up, you know, the RT. Um, Matthew wasn't able to pull the tire. So, yeah, I'm paying for it today. <laughs> so I pulled the wheel off of it and he just did the tire. That's the tire we took off of it there. So I had that wheel still to put back on and do the belt, you know, alignment, adjustment, all the stuff you do with a, with a tire change. You, you start off fresh. So... Anyway, I'm taking my time. The tool guy comes. You know, I think I've got the rest of the day. I kind of have a light load today. So, you know, I'll get this belt done. No problem. You know, four days over with. And um, anyway, I, I'm, I'm looking at that rain gear. In fact, it was the thought hit me as when I pulled that belt off and I was showing you that. And I threw it on the ground and it made the plastic sound that, 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 that it makes. But anyway, uh, I thought... Dude, that looks like the rain gear from that guy upstairs in the rider's lounge. So I thought, I'm going to run upstairs right quick. So I run upstairs, go into the BMW area, and I look all the way over on the Indian side where the rider's lounge is. And that's that gentleman still sitting there from this morning. So I can't find the service riders are busy with whatever. I can't find anybody so I put two and two together. The guy sitting in that rider's lounge is the guy with the spider waiting for me to put a belt on it. Nothing on the RO says that it was a customer wait. And uh, so anyway, I, I got that belt on there faster than you ever seen a belt. And uh, yeah, I was done within probably half hour. I think I spent a, to a total of like 35 minutes on that belt. Fastest I've ever swapped a belt on one of those things. So I get, I want to just get this thing done. So I get up there and I can't, uh, it's, I just have perfect timing. So I go up there, I can't find the service rider again. So I go walk in the, uh, down to the lounge. And I said, are you, are you here with a spider and a belt replacement? And so he's kind of he kind of perks up and he smiles and he goes, "Yeah, when when do you think that's going to be ready?" I said, "Well, it's done now." And uh, so I sat down and I go, "Look, I gotta. I I personally am going to apologize to you." He was, turns out he was totally cool. He thought he was going to spend the whole day here. He says, "I'm retired. I ain't got nothing but time anyway." But yeah, I kept apologizing. He just kept saying, "You do not need to apologize." She go he goes, "I was expecting to wait quite a while anyway." I said, "Man, I would have had you done hour and a half, two hours ago if I knew you were waiting for this thing." So I just felt horrible. Luckily, he's just the nicest guy ever. 
And um, he was telling me about, he used to go to our Longview store. And so anyway, it just turned into a nice conversation. But man, did I get that belt done fast. And I, I probably went over everything about three times, you know, never be in a rush, you know, but it, it's a pretty straightforward thing. It's hard to miss anything. Just go over and hit everything, make sure everything's tight, you know, handful of wrenches in your hand and just double check yourself. You don't want to ever leave anything loose. But like I say, it's a very straightforward thing. But anyway, this is me apologizing to you. Kind of an apology, uh, apologize, whatever day the for not coming back and discussing the belt. I think the last thing I said was I was going to come back and talk about the belt. I <laughs> never did. All right, so it's just about time to get out of here in a little bit. I was doing a thing with BMW to make sure they're going to be okay replacing this wheel. There's no one to willy-nilly order a wheel. They're really expensive. All right. What happened, Mama? We lost all that nice evening sunshine and all the beauty that we had yesterday. Well, we did have clouds and Yeah, Vancouver only gained one minute sunset from yesterday it must be you know, it's, you know it swaps around and most of the gain is in the morning the day's getting longer but it's adjusting more in the morning and the afternoon we care about the afternoon <laughs> let's head home mama we got some walmart stops and gas oh god forbid gas really yeah and then uh i guess we'll see you guys at the house from there Holy crap. In three days, it's gone up 60 cents. Three days ago, we put gas in here and we we're freaking out that it was 419. Look at premium for the Acura. It was uh, 4, 459, I think it was, or something like that. I don't remember what it was. Dang. Oh well, it is what it is. Hello there, YouTube. Welcome to the end of the day. Did our Walmarts and well, you seen the GC truck stop thing there? Fifty-one bucks. To put gas in this thing. Wow. <laughs> Holy moly. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh well. Can't change it. Yeah. Just the world's in a in a weird thing right now. Yep. Just gotta deal with it could be a whole lot worse. Yeah, things are always, can always be worse. Yeah. So, be so thankful for what things are. Get through it and be optimistic about better times are coming. Yes. But on that, definitely got some frozables back there mm -hmm. today and we need to get this thing unloaded. I'm actually backed in towards the front yard. Yeah. I'm staring at the open barn over there. That way it's easy to get stuff. Yeah, we just make pass back and forth instead of making the trail all the way from the carport yeah and we'll come back out roll it carport and be done mm -hmm. roll that we're gonna bounce all right well thank you guys so much for watching we really do appreciate it we will talk to you tomorrow same smoke time same smoke channel don't forget to give her a thumbs up and you guys have an amazing wednesday or thursday thank you thanks for hanging around today yes we'll see you in the morning see you then bye bye now mm -hmm. bye Holy moly, them dogs. <laughs> they are so noisy. Yeah.